Uh, I also bring some of the uh, some of the phones that here uh, with the capture app that you can try out. But also, if you wanna have it on your phone, this is the QR code where you scan and you can just download it in your phone. Free to use, uh, free to start uh, by signing up with the email address. When you have the accounts ready, there are already credits in your account that you can start taking photos, start minting the photo as well as NFT. And also with the with the with the website where captureapp.xyz, that's the site where we have all the uh, applications up there. Okay. So here to, again to just also give you a more uh, overview structure of how numbers is as a numbers blockchain as the bottom layer where that all the applications that you see here from CAM dashboard SDK to I, those are built fully on top of numbers uh, blockchain network, of course with a C2PA that we cover from create, protect and publish because there's a whole well, the asset when it's from creation to floating on the internet is a very long journey and we would like to bring our support as much as possible. So uh, like I shared that uh, we also constantly talking to different content creation tools and platform because that's where the creators use mostly. And it's very, I always, I always say that uh, it's, it's very challenging to become a creator right nowadays because uh, you not only need to improve your skill as a content creation, but then you also need to learn about those new tech so then you don't, you will feel safer because no, no one can steal them. So it's very challenging and we love to have this happen more on the content creation to a platform side. So where that we also have the SDK that when you have more technical uh, capability, you can just connect with us through API, like, uh, like the, the, the way we do work with the other teams as well. And I wanna share this EIP uh, 7053, which is basically the whole structure where we build uh, numbers. So uh, this week I had a conversation with the AI company where that they uh, wanna ethically uh, licensing contents from creators and then build model for them to help them generate more inspiration work. So they wanna do it right. But then the difficulty, the challenges they have is that how do they trust the content actually coming from these creators? because they build a portal where users uploading their previous work. But then I think we all wanna do things in a good way that we have a good faith that we believe, we believe first, I believe. <laughs> well, but then it would also comes back to themselves. They were question is that how do I know? So they are thinking that where they can actually query, where they can actually check whether this is coming from this creator or not. So the way we build this EIP is that uh, imagine in the, in the future how your business can check or how others can check the content. We build this verified engine for more public facing that people can uh, check in the content. At the same time, this EIP standard basically help different projects and business to index their media content. So then with this open standards for all the business that who adopt this standard, knows uh, we have a, let's say a standard where that how we indexing the content and how the media content floor can actually better for this media, this, as this network to grow. And also this huge data set to grow that everyone knows how to check those info. So uh, dashboard, which there is is a, is a desktop solutions that's much easier for professional photographers or artists. They can upload in their content. You can also try out uh, from this uh, URL. When you create a capture account from mobile, you can also log in with the same account across all the capture service. So no matter you are using API or dashboard or the cam, it's all under one account. So you can manage it from different interface. So you can see that uh, we make it very intuitive where you can just drag in the content 
Now uh, we support a single uh, upload and also uh, multiple file upload, batch upload. And also that uh, some, of the, uh, some of the basic info where that's already within the file because some of the photographer may already using Adobe Suite or different software to, let's say, clean up those information directly in the design file. So the auto passing is done where some of things are already carried into the system. But of course, some of the, some of the uh, information they will need to fill in as well. And also that uh, uh, we have this functionality where they can also allow the AI mining or not. Because this is an open question to a lot of creators and content owners at the same time. Uh, uh, I often, well, people always ask me that, so how, how, how do I protect myself? Well, in the current internet, honestly, there's no one can really help uh, protect your content in the current internet status. But if you do nothing at the moment, then you are basically put yourself uh, very vulnerable to those big tech and also the internet. But there's something this, application like this can already help you at the beginning to make your stance very clear to the AI business, then why not doing this? And of course, when the contents uploading register, you can see that this is the ASA profile that I just mentioned. You can see those provenance data and also the, the CID uh, that's also being used where that uh, put its pin to the, the gateway that they can access the file. And Capture Cam is a lot, another application, much more handy uh, on your phone, where that it would be very, um, let's say, uh, useful for investigation or to for insurance or for evidence collecting as well. Right now, the app only allows live photo. So in the app that you can just take a photo, I think there's a demo videos at the same time here. So you can either go to uh, Capture's website to get it downloaded or the QR code that I just shared. Uh, it's help you to understand uh, how uh, it works within the interface. So as the videos plays, it will see that how our developer using the Capture app where you can take a photo and then uh, you will automatically get in those metadata information uh, from your mobile. So of course, it you will need to allow uh, the application to have your GPS locations or the other metadata that to be collected. So when a uh, user take the photos, then uh, it's registered, once you confirmed, it's registered. Uh, sorry, can you help me to score a bit on the video of it? Yeah, so basically uh, when you take a photo, the, fo the photo will be, once you confirm, the photo will be registered to the network with all the metadata info. So the unique ID is generated at the same time upon registrations. So you can make sure that all those information are sealed on the chain immediately once it's born. Then we come to the capture eye where there is more the interface that we help different business to showcase those provenance data. Because uh, like I say, a lot of brand on business, they are losing the trust from the audience, especially from the younger generations who rely a lot on social medias. So uh, Capture Eye is the widget that anyone can just implement on their website with HTML codes. They can already showcase those provenance data. It can be done for a news image. This is a photo that taken in the Indi during the India elections. That, uh, so once with the capture eye on the websites, those info are very clear to be seen. It can also be done with the AI generated content. This collaboration uh, with Instill AI, they are AI business uh, based in London, where the, any of the users who generate uh, content from their pipeline, those prompt to be insert also the final generated content are sealed in our network. So people can actually see those info uh, that's 
to be used to generate these images. Of course, a uh, professional photographer's work as well. So I would like to share this is, is a, it's a showcase page that we have develop, developed for the creators. It's more like a portfolio page they can use to showcase all the assets under their accounts. So you see that those images or uh, those sites also uh, Im import uh, with the capture eye where you click and when you view more information, it actually goes to the uh, ACA profile page as well. So you see those informations showcased directly, including what kind of license to be used. And also if they wanna license this content or anyone who wants to license this content, the collect buttons will be blue if they already mint this image as NFT. So it makes the licensing process much easier as well. So they don't need to rely on platform images or like get an image to license in that where they charge a lot of service fee as well. So this whole process of licensing is much easier. And then it comes to the verify engine where that I mentioned is that it can be done uh, through different way. Of course, with the content already with a C2PA injection into the, the verify engine is also current into the system where they can see if there's any already a file with the C2PA injections that can be checked and then eventually carry out this result of it. Like you see, this is the content ID that's being shown over there, those on term provenance. Uh, right now we are only showcase uh, columns. They are more meaningful to the public. We don't wanna make it, I think some of them would already see it a bit more techy, but we try to make it much easier to understand. So, but uh, those provenance are something that's more uh, meaningful and impactful for the public reader but in our system it's very uh, flexible in, the, in terms of the, the columns. There are, different, there are different custom columns that you can do. Uh, so it depends on what kind of metadata info that you have within your system or your hand. And of course the on-chain record where it's ongoing process to record all the content history. At the same time, if there's any NFT licensing uh, minting with this individual images, it will also be recorded in this tab as well. So it sort of gives you an overview of this content. So at our team, I often said that we are giving a full picture uh, of this image to others. And these are all the metadata info that you can see uh, from each of the content history. When you try to, uh, when you click on those records, you can see more of what's being uh, bring to the network. So feel free to try out through the app as well. Once you create a photos here lively in this GPS location, later on you can also view the ACA profile page of the photo and also including those metadata info as well. Of course, with the content, there's no C2B injections. They can also verify from here where the AI will search in our network there, uh, like, is there any image result match uh, right directly with the same one or similar ones as well? Uh, I think this is just a, also a quick video of how our developer actually can search in our network. That he just insert the CID, where it give the this exact image result and also similar image results. So by each one of them, you can actually click in and view more as well. So this is also, this is another way that you can search by the image itself, that it will also give you the result of exact and similar ones. So there are a lot more content, depends on how popular the content is. So this is like the same with the content history and the provenance record, where the metadata infos are shown, uh, and also already leave it the records on the blockchain. I think that's pretty much it. And of course, numbers, the teams that behind it, that we welcome all kind of uh, collaboration, no matter it's from academic, nonprofit, non-government, or commercial, that our team is very open to contribute and to do whatever, do how we can really support the current internet or different 
sectors to bring the trust back to us and also having more control over our own hands as well. So yeah, that's pretty much. And uh, I have my phones ready there over there if you don't wanna download it, that I can also like, uh, you can also try out with the app and to explain experiment it, but also feel free to just download the app and give it a try and also share any feedbacks if you have. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much.